would have thought that a bonefish fly would end up being perhaps one of the most valuable warm water flies that we could use, but Parent Chief's bonefish fly became Harry Murray's James Wood bucktail. Doesn't look much like a small sunfish to you or I, but it certainly looks like a small sunfish to bass, and it looks like a small sunfish to other sunfish, if my experience is any indication. It's a very simple little bucktail consisting of yellow chenille, blue chenille, white bucktail, and a hook. It's a great fly to have. It's something you don't see in a lot of other fly books, but it's something that you definitely want to toss, especially in late April, May, and early June when the sunfish are on their spawning beds and the bass are looking for an easy meal. Let's tie one. Let's go fish it. Let's be productive in this early springtime and catch some big fish with it. The James Wood bucktail is an imitation of a small sunfish and it's a fabulously effective fly from about late April actually through about mid-July. Fish it anywhere around weed beds where small sunfish live. Great fly to use for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, pike, pickerel, and even bull bluegills who get really mad when they see another small bluegill around. I like to fish this fly in a size 6, size 4, maybe even down to a size 8. Let's go ahead and tie this fly. We're going to use a must add 3366 hook. You can actually use any kind of a ring eye hook that's 2X or 3XL long. We're not going to weight this hook. I'm going to tie this in a size 6 today. So we're going to go ahead and put that hook in the vise. I'm going to use a size 6 aught 140 denier thread. Attach your thread to your hook. Get a good layer of that thread right back to the right above the barb of the hook clip off the extra thread. Now, the body of this fly is made with yellow medium chenille. What you want to do with the chenille is always make sure that you strip away a little bit of the fuzz of the chenille so that you're tying in just the core. Then go ahead and bring the body of that or bring the thread back up to where the body of that is going to be. And in this case what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stop your thread about four hook eye lengths back because this is where the body of the fly is going to be and we're going to actually tie the wing in at that point. Now, when you're working with a chenille like this, what you want to do is as you make your wraps, you want to kind of take that chenille and just stroke that back because what that'll do is that'll allow that to pack in a little bit tighter. It just gives you a really smooth, fat little body. It just makes it look neat. Now, holding that chenille up like that, Tie that off, two or three tight wraps. Now what we want to do is we're going to tie in a splayed wing of white bucktail that completely surrounds the hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white bucktail and I'm going to clip off about a half of a lead pencil's worth of bucktail. What I'm going to do with that bucktail right there is I'm going to stack that using a hair stacker. Now I'm going to measure this. What I've done is I've measured this so it's actually a little bit longer than what I need. You can see that the hair is measured so that it's just a little bit longer than the bend of the hook. And I'm also not clipping it. It's actually a little bit longer than the eye of the hook. I'm going to take three very loose wraps. I'm not tightening that at all. I'm just going to allow the thread to hang. What I'm going to do now is, using my thumb and fingers, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to splay that bucktail completely around. I'm going to veil that body so that I get it as completely around as possible. Once I've got as much of a veiling as possible, and you just really want just the suggestion of a wing, then I'll go ahead and tighten it up. Now, I want to, I want to go ahead and I want to clip away the excess up in front. This is a little bit delicate, and the first time you do it, you may find yourself clipping off your thread so you might want to even throw a half hitch on that thread before you clip this, just in case you have that problem. I've done it a few times. This is I liken this to giving a caterpillar a haircut, because he's going to be a little squirmy in there. But you get in there, that's fine. Go ahead and throw a few wraps.
Now what you want to do is you want to tie the rest of the fly in using a blue chenille. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a little bit of chenille and bring our thread right up back to the front of the hook using this blue chenille. We're going to come up to the front. We're going to go back to the back again. I'm going to make a big ball of this chenille up in front. So it's about twice the thickness of what you had in the yellow. Once again, holding the blue chenille up from the bottom, take two or three wraps of that thread over the chenille, come back in, clip that blue chenille out, build up a small, neat thread head, throw a wood finish on there, What you have there, a very simple bucktail, it's called the James Wood Bucktail. It's a fast and easy imitation of a small baby bluegill. It is a fabulously effective imitation for smallmouth bass during May and June. Fish it around grass beds. It's a great fly to fish for largemouth bass. Fish it on a floating line with a long leader. Fish it with active six inch strips like a small swimming uh, uh, sunfish. It's actually a great fly also for big bull bluegills. Fish this fly in the springtime and the summertime, I think you'll be as impressed with it as I am.